Uh, 25 30 seconds for you to come on yourselves, and then you'll hear the big low rumble start, which is the same as you've got on your CD. Freebop Evolution is Jeff Culverwell and myself. Jeff Culverwell's the jazz giant, and I'm the producer and writer of half the music. So it's up to me to sort of bring the project together, and Jeff is the true jazz man. And I thought Freebop would be a really good kind of name because. Um, Bebop is the uh, teaching tool of the young jazz um, aficionados now. Miles had a, had a go at his new comeback stuff and he called it Doobop album, so I thought we had to be somewhere in that vein between the two, so we called it Freebop, which is kind of free. If you've got music that doesn't have lyrics, you start with a picture in your head and you move towards that picture. And that's what we did with these tracks. So when we got to the end of the album project, we both had a strong feeling that when we performed it, we wanted something visual as well. Jeff and I knew that as we were doing the album, most of it was going to come from ourselves. We had to, all the writing and a lot of the keyboard playing and all of the, the trumpet lines and the brass lines were already written before we brought people in. But once we decided to bring people in, we knew we needed quality. So we had a list of people that we really wanted to play on the album and we went after them and I think that it shows the quality of the album is down to not only what we did but the calibre of the musicians who came in to work on the album. And as far as we could, we kept those musicians for the live show.
talked to the animators and the video makers. Um, we gave them freedom to move on from what we'd given them. And although they had the original idea, some of them just took it way, way off on a tangent. Phil's gear looks like a uh, looks like a science lab. Peace and joy cool. Can you um, hear yourself okay in your wedge there? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. Can we just go through this for the next five minutes? We are nearing the shore of that fair Canaan land, where peace, peace and joy are for the man young grand, where everyone is so happy and is free. As a bird, we're no sobbing, no sighing, or complaints I've ever heard. One of the tracks was called Sister Mary's Drive Through on Broadway, and we had the idea that. What the music was representing was this tiny little church crushed in between skyscrapers. It was the only tiny bit of humanity left in this big concrete jungle. So I talked to the animator and asked her to see what she could do with that and told her she could either do video or animation and this is what she took it away to. The animators, I suppose they're like musicians, they, they tend to work by themselves. They have this little room that they work in late at night, like a lot of musicians do, like Jeff and I do. And you tend to get something given to you, and it's a creative project. And somebody gives you their idea, but in the end it all ends up in your, in your little cell. You take it to your cell, and you don't know yourself what's going to come out the other side. And that's what happened with the animators. Putting it in a package that uh, can make you laugh and cry. They know that it's an audio-visual thing, they know that it's some good jazz players, they know it's, um, it could be any feel, any concept, and just to absolutely pay the money, come in the door, sit down, and just have somebody do it for them, and just accept whatever it is and um, think about it. Certainly, it's very nice to know where the ups and downs and the backing are going to be, and you can you can really sit on the the build-ups, and it gives you solo sequences and a lot more teeth. I think some of the musicians, being jazz musicians, found it challenging at first because if you're working to hard disk material, if you've got if you've got material that you've already recorded and you want to reproduce it faithfully from the recording, you want to add that special magic that only live players give.
as far as the live performance goes, I think it gives um, it gives us a show that other people don't do. It's a jazz show, but it's not jazz. It's a, a visual thing as well as a, something that you listen to. I think it gives us an edge because we're working on all the senses.